They say robots can do anything, and that might be true, but what if we're talking about scary animal robots? Have you ever wanted to build and control a robot that's alive? Fresh off the assembly line is a monster known only as MX Phoenix. And it's exactly that, a giant monstrous spider. What's it do? Well, aside from creeping you out with its skeevy layers, it can do much more. It uses an intuitive hexapod system that allows movement in any direction possible. I'm sure you've seen it before on YouTube already, but it is unique. And maybe it's not as practical to have such an animal working around your home or anything like that. But has it ever crossed your mind? What if we could find something like this for doing certain tasks for us? These thoughts may seem absurd coming from me, and you might laugh and even tell me, hey guys, this is crazy. When I say something that might sound radical to you, but according to me, this is amazing work by Zenta, and I'm a huge fan. I first saw this hexapod three years ago and got hooked immediately. Now, if you're not afraid, then imagine this is a weapon with guns, but bigger. You would feel how serious this can be, right? Many robots developed these days are quadrupeds, three-legged or even hexapods. And this hexapod robot, which is shaped like a spider, probably looks more like a giant arachnid, shows that this format may be effective in emergency situations when humans can't deploy quickly. The robot weighs a hefty 10.4 pounds and has six legs. The largest hexapod so far, featuring 6x MX640 and 12x MX1060 servos. All tibia and body parts are 3D printed and designed with Fusion 360, and its soul runs on the C++ code. <laughs> Such geometry allows it to climb up to steep inclines or go over rough terrain, and it's equipped with self-balancing and navigation algorithms. So the robot not only looks cool, but also functions well. The Hexapod robot was a project that the company has been working on for a while and wanted to share with viewers. The creator also wanted a Hexapod robot with a relative small body and large leg sections. As he was trying to keep the total weight as low as possible, the body sections are printed in ABS and got treated with acetone, 